Westbrook has struggled so far as a Lakers with one of the worst plus minuses in the league. But good news for Laker fans is LeBron is expected to return tonight. So Shannon, how much better will Westbrook be with LeBron in the lineup? Look, this is about LeBron because LeBron makes everyone's be everyone better. This would not have happened on LeBron's watch because Russell would not have had the ball to continuously make those bad decisions that he was making. Mm -hmm. LeBron understands situation. He says, you know what? They're gaining momentum. Let's make sure we execute. Let's make sure we take the shot clock down, get the very best shot, not just go down and jack up a three because somebody from the other team made a three, not just try to go one on four because that's what we've done when we were in Washington. That's what we did a lot of times with a better part of my career once Kevin Durant left me in Oklahoma City. That's where LeBron comes in. That's where a, 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 a high IQ ball player understands situation because, Kevin, remember, we talk about a lot of situation in football, situational football, understanding down and distance, understanding the momentum and what's going on throughout the course of the game. And LeBron James understands that as well as anybody because no one has been able to control tempo of a ball game like LeBron James. And so Russ would not have been in this situation. So for me, that's 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 the thing. And plus, we, eventually, they're going to get T.H. Uh, uh, Horton Tucker back. They're going to get uh, Wayne Ellington back. They're going to get Kendrick Nunn they back. Are. Trevor Rees is going to get healthy. Yep. So some of the guys that they're counting on is going to be able to come back and contribute. Yep. So I'm not overly concerned. And offensively, that is not their problem. They're second in the N NBA in offense at 100 and what, 118, 100, uh, uh, 19 points, uh, 15 points a game behind the Hornets. But they give up 119. Defense is the problem for them, but defense is a problem for the Milwaukee Bucks, and no one's panicking on the Bucks. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to panic on the Lakers. I just believe that LeBron James will understand situations better than Russ does. He will. They get up 26 points. They're not going to just all of a sudden. He's not going to just come down and just allow people to just jack up shots, jack up shots. And I think Frank Vogel at somebody at some point in time, hey Russ, be smarter with the basketball. Be smarter with the basketball. He ain't mad about those 10 turnovers. He's mad about Basley. Mm. Get, get the dunk. Yeah. That's what he see, see, that's what he tried to do. He tried to, oh man, do you see Russ playing with fight? No, 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 no. Let's not lose sight. Turn it over 10 times. That happened. So for me, LeBron is gonna come down. He's the medicine. He's what the doctor tells you to take yep. and call him never because everything's gonna be okay. Mm. I agree to a point with you that LeBron almost always makes everybody around him better. I agree. He controls the pace the way nobody I've ever witnessed can <laughs> control the pace. But there's one man there's he cannot control. I knew the butt was coming. It's this man. <laughs> I've never seen a force of nature like Russell Westbrook. Right. He is unto himself. He is a solo act. We've talked about how he has no conscience, he has no memory, no one's ever held him accountable. He's always gotten a triple-double pass for all the outrageously bad passes that he throws. Right. Because everybody's in awe of averaging a triple-double mm -hmm. for the last five years. Right. And I'm in awe of it, too. Right. We're all in awe of right. it. But it gets the team nowhere. Mm -hmm. He is wearing number zero as in rings. And I fear he's going to be by far the biggest reason LeBron can't win this year's ring. And I am fascinated tonight to see what happens in usage rate as LeBron comes back. How much will he want the basketball? Because if LeBron asks for it, I think he's going to be able to get it. Yeah, he's going to get it. I, I think so. But I've told you before, my, my mother, my late great mother used to call me bullheaded. And that's what I call Russell Westbrook. I call you he just, too. You do. Well, he's just bullheaded. <laughs> it's bull in China shop yes. headed. Yes. And he's going to break a bunch of dishes as he just crashes through the China shop to get his triple double. Right. Because he is a hell bent stat machine that is a threat to LeBron and the Lakers. I get the marquee value because they have become the greatest show in basketball. Mm -hmm. I mean, are they not must-see TV? Yeah. I, I can't wait to watch. Uh, again, we got a big World Series game, and I'll be watching both. Right. But I don't even care who it is. I, it could be Oklahoma City again, as it's going to be next week. Right. It could be Houston. I don't care. Right. It's Cleveland tonight, and Cleveland's a little better than I thought Cleveland yes. would be so far. Yes. But I'm going to be on the edge of my seat because I fear for LeBron's sake that Russ got unleashed. I fear that he got a taste of what it feels like 
to run the team that he grew up living and dying for with no LeBron James. San Antonio was the worst thing that could have happened, huh? That's what I thought. 33 and 10 and 8. And, and you could make a case that Oklahoma City was also the worst case scenario for LeBron, even though they collapsed and blew the 26 point lead. I don't, you, you agreed with me yesterday. Russ didn't lose any sleep over that. No. All he knows is I had 20 points, I had 14 rebounds, I had 13 assists. I actually had 10 assists at halftime. And I, I have no memory of 10 turnovers because right. I just forget those. Right. But just so. Uh, some of our viewers don't forget those turnovers. Could we just see them in order? Because this is the all-time blooper tape to me. This is the other night at Oklahoma City, his triumphant return to Oklahoma City. There's number one. That's just a bad idea. Russ, come on, think about it. Well, he's covered. You, you, you can't do that. Then Russ is completely out of control and throws it to the Thunder. And Russ goes completely out of control and throws it to the bench. And Russ is completely out of control and throws it back to half court to nobody and the Thunder get a dunk. And Russ, Russ, whoops, no, sorry. Russ, easy Russ, but wait, who are you throwing it to? Nobody. Russ, calm down, calm down, play a little bit more under control, nope. And then this one's just complete lunacy. I, I'll give him that, Skip. That yeah, was a hustle yeah. play. He's trying to get it. If you want to yep. give him a turnover, I I'll give But this, come on now. This was at a crucial moment of the game. Listen, a, a lot of point guards in this league would get yanked from the game yeah. for that play. Yeah. Where, where the coaches just say, well, what's, you're just having one of those nights. I, I'm going to sit you over here until you calm down a little bit, right? Right. right. He plays 1,000 miles an hour. He plays out of control, yet he gets the highest credit from everybody because everything in the stat sheet is hustle, hustle, hustle. Right. He hustles for points, for rebounds, for assists, and unfortunately, he hustles for turnovers too. Mm -hmm. So I'm fascinated to see because the other night, he had the ball in his hands 37% of the time. I know most people don't follow this usage rate right. stat. Trust me, that's a lot. Yeah, of course AD, it is. AD was next at 31% the other night. Okay, so this guy is coming back and his name is... James, yeah, as in LeBron James, mm -hmm. the king, the guy you called the goat, and all of a sudden LeBron's going to say, can I play? Well, yeah, you can play. Yeah. So wonder what that usage rate will be tonight. At the end of the night, will it come down from 37% to 27%? Well, it's, it's going to need to, but the thing is, Skip, anytime he plays a former team, I mean, OKC was his former team, he played with the Rockets. You know when you play your former team, Skip, what yep. you try to do? You try to show them up. You try to say, this what y'all could, y'all could have still had this. He did. And so he went back to OKC with that in mind. This, Y'all remember this? Yeah. And unfortunately, they all sat back at the end of the night and said, yeah, we remember all that. Right. And Skip, we remember why Kevin left, just because of that blooper tape right there. And the thing is, Skip, it's like a quarterback throwing for 400 yards and have three turnovers. And you're like, man, but the man threw for 400 yards. Yeah, but the three turnovers cost us the game. Okay, yeah, he had a triple-double. But did you see down the stretch? Turnover after turnover after turnover because you're getting empty possessions. Skip, we don't even get a chance to attempt the ball at the rim. We don't even get a chance to get a foul call because he's turning it over. At least give us an opportunity to get a shot up towards the rim. Give us an opportunity to maybe get, so they commit a foul and we go to the free throw line. We already, you know, we already know we only go make 50% of those. Yep. But at least we get a point out of the deal. You turn the ball over, you don't even give your team an opportunity mm. to get a chance to, to score the basketball or get a foul. And normally what happens, Skip, it leads to something the other way. Mm. So now you've inhibited us from getting an opportunity to score by you've enhanced their chances of getting an opportunity to score. Mm. He just needs to have a better understanding of the situation in which he's in. Just because they got, they got a three-pointer, that doesn't mean you... Skip, you see sometimes guys get hot and they go back and forth. And we like to see that, Skip. Steph Curry bombs a three. LeBron comes back, bombs a three. Yep. Okay, we nip and tuck. Mm -hmm. But you had a 26-point lead. You've seen it dwindle all the way down to under five. Yep. And now it's not the time for you to go try to go back at them. It's now it's time to try to really run an offense, to run a set and get some, a quality look. Yep. Hey, AD, get down the block, bro. I'm coming to you. Mm. Instead of you trying to throw a lob to DJ, and DJ got four guys around him, and you throw it behind him, and he can't get a hand on it, he knocks it out of bounds. I've never seen anything like it before. That, that's, that, that's it. That's what we're asking. A Chris Paul, a LeBron, are, are, are these point guards, they understand. That's what the Stocktons and, and the Isaiahs and the, and the Magics, they understood situation. I, I, I got it. But think about what LeBron had to go through at San Antonio, at Oklahoma City, He's in civvies. He's on the bench. He's trying to help coach. 
but it's very up close and personal right. as he watches. He's not in the fray. Right. He's just on the edge of the fray. And that's where, as you know, it, it sort of you soak it in better because right. you can step just a little bit away from it and, and get the impact of what's actually happening right. without having to be out in the middle of it. Man, that man drank a bottle of a bottle of Memodium. Right. His stomach was going to be that, a knot. He already knew it was going what it's going to be. Because LeBron James is the polar opposite of Russell Westbrook. Yes. LeBron has the highest IQ in basketball. I still believe he's the best passer and pure point guard right. in basketball when he chooses to be. And Russ is all of not the above. Yes. Russ is low IQ. He is a terrible passer of the basketball. He's tried to, again, he led the league in assists just out of volume attempts. Mm -hmm. but, but if you... If you add in the turnovers, he's led the league in turnovers four times, been second four times. So there's eight years where he's threatened to be the top turnover Correct. artist, right? And so now what's he doing already? He's leading the league by five in turnovers. So LeBron has to stand there and watch this happening, knowing that that I got to figure out how to overcome that. And what did he take? As, as soon as they signed Russ, he went for whatever it was, a couple of months with Russ in, trying to bond with him, trying to make him his best, right. best friend because he wanted a connection with him so that he could help.